Hey there, Julian here, and welcome to Member Script 21, which is all about toast. So if you don't know what toast boxes are, that is just a little thing showing you what's happened. And I put these little toast emojis. That, that's not why it's toast, that's just me being ridiculous. So anyways, I am just going to show you, as you can see, you've unliked an item. When I unlike an item. And over here, if I like an item, well, you've liked an item. So let's take a look at how to do that. The first thing that you're going to need to do is add the member script 21, which I have here in the body. Just copy and paste it and you're good to go. There are three things you will need to keep in mind with this, and that is just these values. The first one is fade in, then fade out, and then static. So I have it set to 200 milliseconds, 200, and 2000. Um, 2000 is the amount of time it's going to stay there for, and the other ones are about the animations. So as you can see, mine is very short, so two is fine. If yours has a lot of text, maybe a link, you might want to set this to something higher, maybe 10,000. It depends, but that's it. You don't need to edit the code besides that. Now let's talk about the attributes. So first of all, you need a trigger and that trigger is as follows. You will have ms-code-toast-trigger. You'll notice the two there and you'll notice the one here. So the attribute itself is the same. The value is going to determine which toast itself shows up. So let's take a look at that. I have built in Webflow toast wrap, which is set to visible, and then toast item one and two, which are set to hidden. So with these, all you need to do, first of all, I have mine set to fixed. You're probably going to want that too, but it's not mandatory to make this function. Um, so just build them however you want. So let's go ahead and set these two visible. Um, I have one of mine overlapping the others, so I can change that by just this. Then style it however you want. And what you're going to need to do with the attributes is ms-code-toes-box. You can see this one's two, and this one is one, because if I go over here, the triggers are correctly mapped to the subjects. So you've liked an item, and if I go ahead and unlike an item, it's going to show up just because I have this here set to one, and I have this here set to one. So that's it. Just go ahead, build them in Webflow, add two simple attributes and your script, and you're good to go. If you have any issues with this, email julian at memberstack.com or reach out in the 2.0 Slack, and I will hear from you soon. Have a good day.